I feel like I look like a school librarian right now. What's up guys, it's Sophie. For today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated what is on my iPhone. I did a poll on Instagram asking whether I should do this or reacting to K-pop. K-pop won, but I decided that I didn't want to do that video now. I might do it later, but like, no. I don't really want to react to K-pop in a video right now, so we'll see. Um, so I'm doing a what's on my iPhone. We're almost at 5.9K, which is really exciting, so if you're not subscribed, you should do that and give this video a thumbs up as well. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So my iPhone is so unorganized. Like, I don't have groups. I just got the 7 Plus. I didn't even back up anything either. Like, it's a mess, but I've just gotten used to it, so we're just gonna go with it. So as you can see, my lock screen is Will Smith as a sunflower. This picture just makes me laugh so hard it is so funny so when we go into the phone this is just the home page I have my most important apps first and I'm realizing Instagram is the only app here that doesn't come with the phone so Instagram is here if you're not following my Instagram you should also do that as well and then on the bottom we have mail messages Spotify and Safari because Spotify is like my number one app I can't even function if I don't have Spotify so that's in my little um what is it called the the dock is that what it's called? Like the menu bar? I don't know, but it's down there. I don't respond to any of my emails, so I should probably do that. Then when we swipe to the right, we have some more apps like GarageBand and Snapchat, which I get questions all the time asking what my Snapchat is. It is private for the time being. I don't know when I'm gonna make it public. Also with the new update, I don't even think I want to. I might just give out my Snapchat, but then keep it private and just accept everyone. Because I heard that when you're public, you're on the right side of the update. And like, no one goes to the right. At least I don't. GarageBand, Snapchat, music, VS Go Cam, which is how I edit all of my pictures on Instagram. YouTube, Twitter, which I've been trying to use a little bit more. So my Twitter is Sophie Ming underscore. It's the same as my Instagram. So if you have a Twitter, follow me. Tell me if you follow me and then comment down below your Twitter and I'll just follow you back. And then I have Bitmoji because I have the cutest Bitmoji. Let me actually show you guys her. She's so cute, look at her. I gave her a blowout and changed her outfit. You know, she's looking good or whatever. I love my Bitmoji. She's, oh, she's just so cute. I have SoundCloud, Lyft, Hulu, which I'm obsessed with. That's where I watch the majority of my shows. So I have that, and then I have Preview, which is God sent because VS Go Cam had an update where you can no longer see your pictures in the Instagram layout. So I got preview where when you go into it, you can see your pictures in the Instagram layout and then you can move pictures around. So I do that all the time, like to test out if I'm gonna like a picture or not. And I just have my entire layout there and it's so great. I can plan out pictures and see how they look. Even though I don't even really have a feed anymore on Instagram, I still like to see if something's going to match with the aesthetic, which I guess is a feed, so I don't know. It's a bad feed, but it's still a feed. Then I have next stop to see when my trains are coming because the MTA loves trying my life. Like, in the morning when I'm going to school, the MTA just loves playing with me, so you know I have to know when my trains are coming. Word of the day, <laughs> I haven't gone through this since, like, December 1st. I got word of the day where basically I learn a new word every single day and it's a different word every single day. And do you see how many notifications I have on this? Like, I have not been going through my words. Like, oh my gosh. I haven't been going through my words. I've had this app for like the longest time and I don't even remember the last time that I went onto it. The entire point is that you learn one word a day and that you just like memorize that one word. But I think I have like 40 words to memorize because this app, no. Then I have the cash app. The reason why I have this is because for for my photography clients, they make their deposits through this app. Even though I think I'm gonna change to Venmo because more people have Venmo, I don't have it, but I'm gonna get it because that's what a lot of people seem to have. And then when you swipe, the first thing is my sub count, which I barely ever go into. I remember when I first got this app a while ago, I would check it every single day and I barely check it anymore. I have 5,888 subscribers, so. You should subscribe if you're not already so that we can get to 5.9K. Then next we have PixArt. I sometimes edit my pictures with these. Then Facetune. I don't use Facetune on my face. I use it if there's something in the background of my picture that I don't want to be there. There was somebody in the background of this photo and then I changed it to this. 
So I just took out my friend who is in the back of that picture using Facetune. Like that was so cool that I was able to do that because I don't like when annoying things are in the background of my pictures. And then we have Shazam. Even though I don't really need it, because like apparently you can ask Siri now what song is playing, but I just still have that. The Bank of America app for my card. Afterlight and then Starbucks. Watermark if I want to watermark my images. I stamp, which is basically the same thing. Also, both of these apps don't even work that well, so I don't know why they're still on my phone. Netflix. Video saver, which does not work. I don't you can't save videos from this I don't know like I just have so many Unnecessary apps in my cell phone like taking up space then we have my favorite games angry birds subway surfers flow free temple run 1010 and 2048 those are my little games if I'm bored on the train or something, you know. Then YouTube Studio, which I never go into anymore. I don't even care to go into it anymore. You can just like check your analytics, but I can do that from YouTube myself. Like I don't have to have a separate app for that, but I just have it anyways. Seesaw, which is this thing that my US history class uses. So my teacher posts assignments and then we do those assignments via Seesaw, the app. And then the last page on my phone, Oh, my favorite game ever, Tiny Wings. Oh my gosh, if you don't play Tiny Wings, what are you doing? Moldiv, which is where I make my collages, any collages that I wanna make, like two photos side by side or up and down that way. Square Ready, um, this is another border app. I have so many border apps, like you can do that in Afterlight, Viesco Cam Now, if you have like the Prime package, which I got. Then Line Upper, I don't know what the hell that is. Tumblr, Daily Water which I used for the first day. I was trying to drink more water, trying to get my skin cleared up, but I played myself, cause I haven't gotten into this app for like four months now. The only reason why I have WhatsApp is to text my brother, cause he's in Egypt right now, and he can't call me, or else it's gonna charge my phone plan. So I text him via WhatsApp. I don't know I'm saying via so much. I don't use that word in real life. VHS Cam is basically this app where you can take videos and make them look like they are Vintage. I've never even made a video using that before, but one day I will and I will post it because I love the way that VHS cam videos look. Then Google Documents, if I'm doing homework assignments in my bed from my phone, I will type it in my Google Docs app instead of using my computer because I get lazy. I don't know what the hell Curb is. I, I literally don't. Seamless to order my food, Uber Eats to order my food, and Postmates to order my food. Wow, Sophie's a hungry, hungry hippo. Then I have Headspace if I need to calm down. I use it for when I get extremely angry. Like, I swear I have anger issues because when I get very mad, I get mad, like, and I can't calm down. It's not even like an anxious thing. It's just like an anger thing. It happens whenever I get very angry. I don't know how to calm down. So literally I open up this app and it calms me down and like I practice my breathing or whatever and I'm back to normal. Then we have the metronome app. I'm a music major so I play the violin and the piano. I don't use this for the piano though. I literally only use it for the violin. We have my prime app. What is that? I like don't even know what half of the things in my phone even are. Oh, this is for, it tells you when to post an Instagram picture. I don't even follow it though. But sometimes like when I'm about to post, it will be like, oh, it's time to post. And I'll be like, lit, like damn, we're in sync. 99% of the time I just post whenever I want. That's everything that's in my phone. Oh, I did that quick, okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your Instagram is. Mine is Sophie Ming underscore so you should follow it if you want comment on your favorite app mine is probably spotify like oh i'm obsessed with spotify i'm obsessed with music so so yeah thank you guys for watching i love you all very much and i will see you this tuesday with another new video bye